Welcome back to the Barita Money Mod Showdown, a game show where the contestants get to flex their financial muscles. I'm your host, Sarah Campbell, and today is the final showdown between our worthy opponents, Mrs. Talia Suarez Brown and King Diaz. <laughs> Alright, these two have definitely kept us on the edge of our seats in the first two rounds each winning one round. So today, we'll break the tie and crown the champion. Talia? Let me start putting the crown on my head from now. All right. <laughs> you, you realize you said King Deal. Um, where, in, where in Talia do you hear King Deal? Always Diel. a queen. I'm All right. Saying, King well, we're, Diel. We're Let's ready? go. Let's right, go. Guys, you ready for some uh, financial fun? Yeah. All right. Well, everybody is ready to see what answers you're going to give us today. So, the game show is going to be a little bit different. We'll have a rapid fire round and time challenges and a few surprises along the way. You'll still have your lifelines or phone a friend or 50-50, but use them wisely. Let's get started with the first rapid fire round. No, you, this this is this switch up still in or you switch things up on us yeah. right now, but it's alright. Well, I can switch it up. Tell you, tell you. I'm the same but I thing. am not afraid. Tell you, why you're so worried? You're so worried. Never that. Never all that. Right. So you're gonna Ready? get 30 seconds and you're gonna answer as many as you can. And then we will decide for the answers after. Ready? Let's go. First question, what is the primary goal of setting financial goals? To provide direction and motivation. All right, great. What is the term liquidity? What does that mean or refer to in investing? Just, just the act of having uh, liquid or movable assets within a company or the market. All right, all right, all right, let's go. What is mutual funds primarily used for? Uh, a pool of funds from a number of investors to diversify your asset portfolio. All right, and what is inflation? Uh, just the cost of living, just, just the increase in prices, the cost of living and erosion of price Time is range. up. <laughs> All right, good job. Let's get to tally everybody. All right. I'm tired. The seconds are up. Great. Okay. Dale, are you ready for ready. your 30 Let's seconds? Let's go. All right. So, Dale's 30 seconds starts now. What is the significance of understanding risk tolerance? Risk tolerance is important for you to understand so you can know how aggressively you want to invest um, just so that you can be informed as to, you know, the, yeah, how aggressively you want to invest. All right. Define unsystematic risk. Pass. All right. What is the primary benefit of having an emergency fund? Um, for hurricanes, storms, just for, you know, emergencies. Okay. Yeah. And what is a dividend? A dividend is... Time! Whoa! All right, let's go, let's go. Perfect, perfect. She, 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 have another, she have another round. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Never watch your 30 seconds when it reach one. We have no more 30 seconds. Oh, that's it, that's it. You see if him didn't give a little inch for no, no. answer after 30 no. seconds? I will make you All right, answer. guys, it's very hot in here. And right. then we can say Talia is the winner for that round. So for our next round, I want you guys to know we're gonna switch it up again. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do it a little bit different. So the person who says the right answer first is the one who gets the point. All right, ready? So if you get it wrong, what happens? You don't lose a point. No. You want to lose a point? No, we're not losing a point. You can't. <laughs> no, I can't play catch up. All right, we're gonna catch up. Catch up. Catch up. We're gonna play. Me a pepper. Uh, Move. All right. No All right. Remember, it's a friendly competition. This, this is not friendly. Let's go. Ready. <laughs> All right, so the first question is, what is a key characteristic of an exchange-traded fund, ETF? Mm -hmm. Listen to the options. Mm -hmm. A, it is actively managed and trades as a premium. B, it is passively managed and trades like a stock. C, it is a type of bond and a fixed interest rate. Or D, it is available to institutional investors. B. D. D. Judges? And Talia is the answer. <laughs> the answer is B as in bat. Alright, All right. Talia, ready? Ready. All right, I'm not losing. Go, Listen, not losing this one. catch me last time and then that catch me again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the next question is, which of the following is considered a zero-based budgeting principle? Is it A, allocating funds based on historical spending patterns? B, 
setting aside a fixed percentage of income savings, income for savings, C, starting each budgeting period with a budget of zero and justifying every expense, or is it D, automatically adjusting the budget to match income fluctuations? B. C, 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 B. C. B, C. C. Who answered first, judges? DL, and the answer, you said B, you said C, the yes. answer is actually C. Our next question, remember the first correct answer gets the point. How does an investor's age typically affect their risk tolerance? Is it A, younger investors generally have lower risk tolerance? Is it B, older investors are usually more willing to take risk? C, younger investors can typically afford to take more risk due to a longer investment horizon? Or D, age has no effect on an investor's risk tolerance? C! <laughs> Judges? Dale got that one? All right, the answer All right. is C. Let's go! Wow! All right, boy, I tell you about the sore losers. All right, so sore yes, loser. answer is C. Oh, next Ready. question, next question. Younger <laughs> investors can typically afford to take more risk That's right. for a longer time to oh. invest. That's right. All right, ready, ready. Let's move to our next mm -hmm. question. This one is, which of the following is a characteristic of a smart financial goal? We spoke yeah. about this in another episode. Yeah, man. Is it A, specific and measurable? Mm -hmm. B, vague and flexible? C, broad and undefined? Or D, unattainable and unrealistic? A. I get it, I get no, it, no, I, no, get it. Yeah. I get it, I get right. it, I get it. Judges, 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 hold. Not because you're louder than me. Not because you're louder than me, sir. Judges. Louder than me. Oh, she must said that before me, judges. But it's all right. It's all right. You think because you're louder? <laughs> all right, it's all right. Come, all right. come sorry. Ready. Next one. Next one. Next one. I'm afraid. <laughs> Ready? All right. All right, all right, all right. So, come on. Let's keep it going, guys. Mm -hmm. We have a chance. Each of you have a chance to get this right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, let's see. Win. Which of the following statements about diversification is... False. Okay. So we're switching it okay. up. Okay. Which one is false? Is it A, diversification can eliminate all investment risk? B, diversification involves spreading investments across different asset classes? C, diversification helps to manage risk in a portfolio? Or is it D, diversification can reduce the impact of poor performance in a single investment? Hey. Hey. Who said it first, judges? Don't, don't know. Them going to have to deliver it. Judges don't play with them. They're going to have to deliver it. No, judges pointing over here. It's okay. I still won. Winner, right, winner. So the judges Chicken say, dinner. Dale got that one. The answer is A. Mm -hmm. Diversification winner. cannot eliminate all investment risk, guys. So that one was definitely false. So good job, Dale, Thank on you. that. All right. Winner, don't bother winner. stress out. So let's tally up the scores and see who the champion is. It's tight. It's really tight. <laughs> but uh, seeing that uh, all of the questions we answered, come Talia on, Sarah. Woo! Answered the most questions, right? Talia also won round one. That means you are the grand champion of the Barita Money Month Showdown. Woo! All right, flex those. I got flex. I got. I told the guys. I told you. Congratulations, yeah. Talia. Yeah. Dale, you have to shake my hand, man. You can't leave my hand. Check it out, guys. You were a great competitor. Don't be a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> what a thrilling conclusion to our Barita Money Mud showdown. We've seen Talia and Dale go head to head and fight it out, showing off their incredible financial knowledge and skills. Today, we witnessed the true display of financial smarts, quick thinking, and strategic planning. Before we wrap it up, I want to take the moment to remind you what Money Mods is all about. Money Mods is our comprehensive financial education initiative brought to you by Barita. It's designed to help you understand key financial concepts and make informed decisions that will ultimately help you achieve financial freedom. From budgeting to investing and understanding risk tolerance and setting financial goals, Money Mods equips you with the tools and knowledge you need take control of your financial 
future, right guys? Yes! Right. So I want to say a huge thank you to our amazing contestants. Let's hear it again, Talia and Dian. Thank, thank you guys too. We had fun. We had fun. We had, we had fun. I, we had fun. <laughs> so, there's no hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. My fans, I want to tell you that next time we're going to take the championship. I'm sorry. No, we'll let it down, but we're going to take home the championship next time. She fought hard, she fought well. So big up to her, but next time I got you. All right, now the confidence. We're not dropping the catch and we don't fumble the bag. All right. <laughs> but we want to thank you both oh, so gosh. much. It's been great working with you. And to our viewers at home, thank you for tuning in and being a part of this exciting journey. We hope you've learned something new and we feel and that you feel inspired to take charge of your finances. Remember, Financial literacy is key to financial freedom. So keep learning, keep growing, and never stop striving for your financial goals. That wasn't a part of it.